In this video you will learn all possible ways to unsubscribe from streams inside Angular. So the first question is what problem do we have at all? And actually inside Angular we are creating components. And typically you want to use RxJS streams inside your components. And you are writing something like this data subscribe, like you see here, or maybe you have a HTTP client, you simply make a get, or you have some behavior subject, you are just writing subscribe, and you are good to go. It is all working, and you are rendering information. But actually you have by default there a memory leak. Why is that? Because actually Angular does not clean subscribers inside your components. Which actually means you are writing this code like this, and then you simply jump to another page, and this subscribe hangs there, and it will be never deleted. This is why actually you must work with your subscribes by yourself, because Angular doesn't do anything regarding them. So let's look on the problem. Here I have just a data stream, and this is simply an interval every single second. But it can be actually any stream. And here inside in GeoNinit we are just writing this data subscribe, this is totally fine. Now as you can see here I have two pages, first of all my home page, here am I in the home page, and I can jump inside posts. And actually our code with data was written inside posts. And as you can see here we are getting this console log inside our subscribe. So this is our interval. The main point is that I am jumping to the home and nothing is stopped here. As you can see this subscribe is still working, we still have this hanging interval. But in real life we want to remove all our subscriptions at the moment when we are destroying our component. So how can we fix that? And the most obvious way is to unsubscribe from this subscription. And for this we must create here a data subscription for example. And actually the type is subscription here. And we are importing it from NGRX, and here we must write or undefine it. Why is undefine it? Because by default we don't set anything inside data subscription. And actually the result of our subscribe is subscription. This is why here we can assign inside this data subscription the result of our subscribe. This is totally fine, but now we must implement on destroy because we want on destroy of this component to destroy this subscription. This is why here ng on destroy and we can call here this dot data subscription dot and as you can see here I don't see any methods and actually I can directly write here unsubscribe and as you can see this function exists inside but the main problem is that this object can possibly be undefined and this is totally correct because we are setting the subscription only inside ng on init by default it is undefined. This is why for TypeScript we must put here a question mark. In this case here we are saying ok, if this data subscription does not exist, we should not call unsubscribe. And actually this code will successfully unsubscribe your subscription inside your component. Let's check this out, we are on the home page, we are jumping inside posts, here is our subscription, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here I am jumping to the home page and we don't see this subscription anymore because actually it was destroyed. And now every single time when we are jumping to the post, we have a new in it, we have a new subscription, now we are destroying our component when we are jumping to the home page, and we have this unsubscribe. Another possible solution which is even better than the first one is just to use a sync pipe. And typically inside Angular you want to render data, and you just need to use subscribe at the places where you really want to call a function. If you don't need to call a function, then all this code is not needed. We can actually remove here data subscription, and we simply have here a stream. And if we need to render our stream, we can just write here div, and we're using here our data stream with dollar, and here we're using our async pipe. And as you can see inside browser, we're getting that property ng on destroy is missing, so let's add this here and we won't get an error in this case. I am reloading the page, we are jumping to our post, and as you can see here is our stream, we can see on the screen that it is working and it is rendered. But here we don't have any subscriptions, we don't use subscribe word, and this async pipe will be subscribed and unsubscribed automatically by Angular. And this is the best possible variant to use streams inside Angular. But it is not always possible to write async pipe, sometimes you really need to call some function. This is why here we must use for example this data. 
But what we can do with this data to avoid using data subscription and unsubscribe. Because actually just imagine that you have like 10 or 20 different streams inside your component. You really don't want to create a property with subscription for every single place and then inside engine destroy just call this data subscription unsubscribe. This is not comfortable. So what we can do here, for example, we need just a first value. In this case here we can write dot pipe and here inside we put take function. And inside take we can provide how many stream values we want to take. And typically you want to write here one to just get a first value. In this case here we are loading the page and as you can see we are getting data zero and that's it. We don't get anything else. Which actually means our subscribe here happens only once. And as you can see here, this subscription with a sync pipe is still there, because this is completely different subscribe, which is done by Angular. It doesn't have anything to do with our code here. And the main point is, with this code you don't need to unsubscribe anything, because your subscription will happen just a single time, it won't happen afterwards. This is why if you really just need the single value, then you can simply write pipe take one. And exactly in the same direction is going another function which is called take while. Instead of take here we can write take while and inside we must provide a predicate. So actually take while gives us a value and in our case here we have a stream of numbers. So we can check here okay if value is less than 5 for example then we want to subscribe to it. Let's check this out I'm reloading the page and here inside console we're getting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we don't get anything, which actually means take while only gives us values until we hit this condition. In this case here, this subscribe doesn't do anything after we hit it this condition. This is why here we don't need to unsubscribe from our code. But actually take while is not that popular. And now let's talk about most popular method to unsubscribe from the code. And it is called take until. And actually how we are using it, we want first of all here to create a subscription. And here typically we want to call it unsubscribe with dollar. And this is new subject with type void inside. And here we must write round brackets. Now instead of take while here, what we want to write is take until. And actually as you can see here, take until, it emits values emitted by the source observable until the notifier observable emits a value. Which actually means at the moment when our subject emits a value, it will stop. This is why here we are providing inside this unsubscribe. So what this code is doing now? We are just subscribed to this stream until this unsubscribe emits something. And actually this code now does not do anything. What we want to do inside ng on destroy, we want to call this unsubscribe.next, which actually means we're emitting a value, and after this, this unsubscribe.complete. And it means that this stream won't emit any values. So why this code is the best possible code to unsubscribe inside component? We don't need to create here additional properties for every single subscription. In every single place where we have subscribe, we simply write take until this unsubscribe. Which actually means you have here not this data, but this user stream for example, and you have here exactly the same logic. You simply write take until and the same this unsubscribe. And this unsubscribe will be triggered inside ng on destroy and then all our streams directly will be unsubscribed and it will be fixed. Let's check this out. Here we have our data stream and we don't have unsubscribe. And here is our console log. I will reload the page here and we're inside home for example. Now I'm jumping inside post. We have our stream and it is simply going. Now I'm jumping to home and this stream is directly aborted. Because actually here we emitted our value inside unsubscribe and this stream won't come to subscribe anymore. So in all production applications, I highly recommend you to use take until and not dot unsubscribe. And the last question that you for sure want to ask here, okay, this is totally fine, but I don't want in every single component to write unsubscribe new subject, then take until, and then engine destroy. This is not comfortable. And I can totally understand that. This is why we can move this code and just extend every single component. For this, we can create, for example, a new file and just call it unsub.class.ts. And actually here I just want to write a class that we can extend. 
This is why here it must be injectable, because we are working inside Angular. And here I want to write that it is an abstract class, which is called unsub. And here we must write implements on destroy. And now what I want to do inside, I want to move this unsubscribe directly inside this file and also completely ng on destroy, because this is the code that we want to share. Here I must import new subject and we are good to go. Now inside our post component what we want to write is extends. And we want to extend our class that we just created. It is called unsub and after this we can use implements on init and on destroy. And as you can see here we don't see this subject stream and here we are writing take until this unsubscribe and this unsubscribe already exists. And as you can see this is our subject void because we extend it from that class which actually means we can directly use in every single component with extends unsub this unsubscribe. And we don't need to provide here ng on destroy, it is automatically there because of extending. Let's check this out, I'm jumping here, ng on destroy is missing, which actually means here we can remove implements because we are not writing it inside post component. Let's reload the page, we don't have any errors, we are inside home page, I'm jumping inside post, here is our stream, Everything is fine, we are jumping inside home and our stream is successfully destroyed. And actually if you are interested to learn RxJS functions that I am using inside Angular every single day, make sure to check this video also.